Slide is visible to everyone. Yes, sir. So today's topic is about the NFA with epsilon transition. It means that uh, if you want to show the transition without any inputs involved, then what is the solution? So here it is the solution with the NFA with epsilon mode. So let's start with the today's session. Sir, can you please start recording? Yes, yes, start recording. So, NFA means we know that non-deterministic finite automata. And deterministic means we know that what is the input and what is the present state. And with the help of present state, and with the help of present input, we are able to predict the next state. Okay. But here, the NFA, there is a non-deterministic finite automata with the epsilon transition. Why there is a need of epsilon transition within the NFA? So when we want to perform the transition from one state to the another state, suppose from Q0 to the Q1, without any input symbol. So at that time, we have to show this epsilon symbol. Okay. But this epsilon is not belonging to any input. It is not an input. It is not belonging to uh, any input. This epsilon is not belonging to any kind of input symbol. So when we want to show such a transition, that a transition without an input, means we have to move from one state to the another state without accepting any input, or temporarily we don't know that what input we should consider. Okay? to move from one state to the another state. But there should be a transition from one state to the another state. So in that case, so for temporary, for the convenience, we are going to consider epsilon as a transition. OK? So please try to understand that here within this transition, we are not going to read any input, but we have to make a transition. Such a transitions are provided with the help of epsilon as a symbol on the transition, as you can observe here, that on this transition arrow, we have provided this epsilon symbol. But this epsilon is not any kind of input, or it is not belonging to the any input category. Okay? It is an easy way to make a transition from one state to the another state, but it is not going to change the NFA, the actual NFA. NFA without epsilon transition, and the NFA with epsilon transition, they are going to accept the same class of language. Okay? When you are going to add the epsilon transition, it does not mean that it is going to accept a new class of transition. It is going to accept the same languages which are accepted by the NFA. Okay? So we can say that NFA and D, uh, epsilon NFA, there is a epsilon transition NFA, is going to recognize the same kind of languages, exactly the same class of languages. Clear? So suppose we want to find out the transition of this epsilon uh, input or we can say the epsilon symbol. So there is epsilon closure, concept of epsilon closure. Now what is the epsilon closure? So if we want to write down the epsilon closure of a state, means we can write down an epsilon transition for every state. If we consider here, there is a state A with the epsilon transition and it is making a transition towards state B. Okay. Then again state B is having the out epsilon transition and which is going towards state C. And these are the outgoing transition. Outgoing transition means what? From A. Outward from A. Or it is outward from B. These are called as an outgoing transition from that state. Okay. And inverse tran transition means what? that this A itself is an inward transition. It is outgoing transition and it is inward transition also. Yeah. Similarly, if we consider the C, the, this is the inward incoming transition. Okay. And from this C, it is going to the itself, it is the outgoing transition. Yeah. Understood now what is incoming and outgoing? If arrow is away from the state, then it is outgoing. If arrow is coming towards the state, then it is incoming. Clear? 
Now, how to find out the epsilon closure? So, to find out the epsilon closure, please listen carefully. What is the procedure we have to follow? So, we have to write down in this way first. There is epsilon closure of A. Epsilon closure of that particular state. Okay. So, for that purpose, we have to prepare one set of epsilon closure. So, within that, we have to write down that state itself first. That is A as it is. Then next, we have to observe that from A, is there any epsilon transition? Means, is there any outgoing transition which is labeled with the epsilon symbol? Yes. A is having the transition which is labeled with the epsilon symbol. And it is going towards B. So, we have listed down B here. Next, as we have listed down B here, we have to observe the state B. That is there any transition or we can say is there any outgoing transition which is labeled with the epsilon? Yes. B is having the transition which is labeled with the epsilon and, and it is moving towards C. So, we are considering that next state C here. Okay. In this way, we are going to find out the epsilon closure for state A. Now, if we are going to write down the epsilon closure for state B, then how we are going to write down that? That B itself first. Okay. Then next. Sorry. We will write down it again. Epsilon closure for B is that B itself first. Next, we have to observe that there is a outgoing transition which is labeled with the epsilon. Yes, there is outgoing transition which is labeled with the epsilon and it is going towards C. So, we will write down C over here. Now, we have to observe the C state. At C state is having any outgoing transition which is labeled as the epsilon? No. So, we will close this here. Next, if we consider the epsilon closure of C, then we are going to write down that C itself first as it is. Then next, we have to observe that is there any outgoing transition from C which is labeled with the epsilon? No. So, only C will appear here. Understood? What is epsilon closure? Any doubt within this? Students, have you understood what is epsilon closure? Yes or no? Please reply fast. Suppose I consider the diagram in this way. So, student, can you tell me the epsilon closure for Q0? Can anyone tell me the epsilon closure for Q0? Q1? Yes, Q0 itself first, then next. Yes, please tell me fast. 
which are the epsilon closure for q0 next we have to find out the epsilon closure for q1 and then next epsilon closure for q2 yes students please reply fast if you understand this thing then only you are able to solve this example otherwise not and it is asked within the exam that convert nfa with epsilon mu or that is in this way that is nfa with epsilon transition to dfa okay or nfa with epsilon transition to nfa without epsilon transition without epsilon transition these two these are the two kinds of examples so if you are ever to find out this epsilon closure then only you are able to solve this kind of examples and these are surely within the question paper okay so please concentrate and please tell me which are the epsilon closure for q0 over here q1 q1 is not there why that state itself is the epsilon closure first and then next for q0 q1 is not possible why because there is any outgoing transition which is labeled with the epsilon from q0 no there is no transition which is labeled with the epsilon if you observe q0 is having only one outgoing transition okay is there any transition which is epsilon or you can observe that there is a zero with the outgoing transition so only q0 will appear over here okay and there is no any outgoing transition from q0 now we have to find out the epsilon closure for q1 so that state itself we have to write down first q1 we will write down as it is next q2 q2 next only q2 q0 and q0 also okay any another state q1 q2 and q0 correct yes or no yes sir okay so yes. we have to close that set next for q2 q2 that state itself we will write down as it is first next after q2 is there any epsilon closure for q2 q0 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 that is correct okay so in this way we need to find out the epsilon closure okay so we'll first see the first type that is convert a uh, given nfa with epsilon mu to the nfa without epsilon mu with epsilon transition we have to convert it to the without epsilon transition okay so the diagram is given to you that is a transition diagram or a transition table may be provided to you so how we are going to find out uh, this nfa without epsilon transition so step 1 we have to find out the epsilon closure for each and every state so q0 with the epsilon closure so if you observe from q0 the outgoing arrow is towards q1 so q0 first as it is then q1 okay sorry q0 as it is first that state in q1 because there is an outgoing transition with the epsilon input towards q1 then we observe the q1 that there is a outgoing transition with the epsilon towards q2 so we have included q2 also over here then we concentrate on the q1 so from q1 there is a outgoing transition towards q2 with the epsilon transition so q1 and q2 will appear here next for the q2 there is only one transition and which is labeled with the 2 there is no epsilon transition so only q2 will appear here after this to convert nfa with epsilon mu to the without epsilon mu we have to obtain the new transitions that is label as a del 1 or in some references it is label as a del dash okay we know that there are five tuples to represent the finite automata that is number of state number of input del transition the initial state and the final state these are the five tuples and this del is the transition what is the del that is initial input uh, state and initial 
input or the present state and present input gives you the next state that is a transition clear so this transition we have to find out here for each and every input symbols so if we talk about this we can write down the tuples in this way q that is q0 q1 q2 these are the states and input symbols are 0 1 2 initial state is q0 q0 and state of final state that is a q2 only only one final state is there so when we want to find out the transition so there is one rule so that rule you have to follow so we have to find out the all the transition all new transitions for all the states like this del dash of q0 with input 0 it is a new transition as we have write down dash over here similarly q0 with input 1 del dash of q0 with input 1 then del dash of q0 with input 2 so how we are going to find out this new transition with the help of this new rule that is epsilon closure of that state with epsilon closure of that state with particular input okay yeah? that is with input 0 with input 1 and with input 2 one by one we have to find out okay so we have to find out just concentrate here now <coughs> So what is the formula here to find out the transition that epsilon closer of okay so I will write down here uh, in the bifurcated way epsilon closer of del of q0 comma 0 in this way but instead of this q0 only here we have to write down the epsilon closer of q0 epsilon closer of q0 so this epsilon closure of q0 is in short written as the another way to return it as del cap of q0 with epsilon transition means we will write down the transition in this way that is q0 with input 0 but when we have to write down that q0 transition of q0 with the epsilon input then we have to write down in this way del cap of q0 with the epsilon that is the it is called as an epsilon closure it is called as an epsilon closure in short it is written like this del cap of the del cap of clear so we just remove this one So here we are going to obtain that. So if you observe here, epsilon closure of Q0. So what is the epsilon closure of Q0, Q0, Q1, Q2? So that will appear in the next. So you can observe here, Q0, Q1, Q2 we will return here. Now the transition of Q0 with input 0, transition of Q1 with input 0, transition of Q2 with input 0, and all are union together, union operation okay all are combined together so q0 with input 0 there is a transition towards itself q0 but q1 and q2 does not have any transition with the input 0 you can observe within this diagram is there any transition for the q1 with input 0 no with q2 is there any transition with the input 0 no so that will be written as a phi so you can observe it is written as a phi there only q0 is there because q0 is having the transition with input 0 it is towards itself so q0 will be written so all these are going to give you that is epsilon closure epsilon closure of q0 because all this phi will remove q0 so what is the epsilon closure of q0 that is q0 q1 q2 it is the new state now for this transition q0 with input 0 initially q0 with input 0 when we are going to write down the table initially what is it that q0 itself but now when we are going to write down del dash the q0 with input 0 we have to write down q0 q1 q2 in this way now this will be removed it is the new transition clear
so it will be in this way clear next we have to find out the f uh, sorry del dash of q0 with input 1 so with input 1 how it will be obtained same way just we have to change the input over here same thing that is epsilon closure of q0 this q0 q1 q2 but input is going to change with input 1 okay so when in with input 1 we have to find out the transition q0 q0 with input 1 okay so q0 with input 1 is there any transition no q0 with input 1 is there is no transition if you observe within this diagram so here it is fine q q1 with input 1 there is a transition yes that is towards q1 itself q2 with input 1 there is a transition no so that is fine so we have to write down it like this okay So you can observe over here we have written phi for the 0 and 2 and for q1 we have write down q1 next so epsilon closure of q1 is what q1 q2 so that will be the answer q1 q2 clear next we have to find out del dash of q0 with input 2 so with input 2 you can observe over here i just remove that So del dash of q0 with input 2. So here you can observe there is a change in the input 2. So q0 with input 2, q2 with input 2 and q1 with input 2. Because epsilon closure of q0 is what? q0, q1, q2. Okay. So q0 does not have any transition with input 2. Q1 is also not having any transition with input 2. Only Q2 is having the transition with input 2 and that is towards itself. So here we obtain the Q2. So epsilon closure of Q2 is what? That Q2 itself. So here it is the new transition. So how many new transitions we have find out? Three new transitions we have find out. And it is about the Q0. Q0 with input 0, Q0 with input 1. So we can write down and combine it in this way. That is Q0 with input 0. What is the transition? That is q0, q1, q2. Next, del dash of q0 with input 1. So that is q1, q2. Next, del dash of q0 with input 2. That is q2. Okay. So similarly, we have to find out del dash of q1 with input 0, then q1 with input 1, then q1 with input 2. Similarly, for the Q2 with input 0, Q2 with input 1, Q2 with input 2. Okay. And then we have to write down the new transitions. So here you can observe that Q1 with input 0. So Q1 with input 0 means what? Q1 epsilon transition we have to consider here within the bracket. Q1 epsilon transitions are what? Q1, Q2. So that we have to write down here. Q1, Q2. So Q1, Q2 transition with input 0 we have to find out is there any transition no so we are going to write down fine okay. then q1 with input 1 same way so on here only q1 is having the transition with input 1 and that is towards q1 so that is a epsilon closure of q1 epsilon closure of q1 is q1 q2 so here it is our answer next del dash of Q1 with input 2. So epsilon closure of Q1 and Q1 is going to consist of Q1 and Q2. So only Q2 is having the transition with input 2. Okay. So whatever is the epsilon closure of Q2 will become the result. So epsilon closure of Q2 is Q2 itself. So that is the new transition over here. Similarly, for the Q2 with input 0, we are going to find out that and Q2 with input 1 and q2 with input 2 okay so if we are going to combine that we are going to obtain these results q0 with input 0 q0 with input 1 q0 with input 2 then q1 with input 0 q1 with input 1 q1 with input 2 q2 with input 0 q2 with input 1 and q2 with input 2 these are the transitions all these are the transition so all these transition we have to write down in terms of table and this table is the table of NFA without epsilon transition.
So in this way, we have to write down this table. So if, uh, that is a states and input. If you don't understood it, I will make it now. States, inputs. Okay. In this way, you have to prepare that. 0, 1, 2. Okay. So Q0 with input 0. So here it is the Q0 state. Q0 with input 0. What is the transition? That is Q0, Q1, Q2. Then Q0 with input 1, that is Q0, sorry, Q1 and Q2. Then Q0 with input 2, that is a Q2. This way we have to prepare that. Next, Q1. Q1 with input 0, that is phi. Q1 with input 1, that is Q1 and Q2. Then Q1 with input 2, that is Q2. Next, we have to find out for Q2 with input 0, phi, with input 1, phi, with input 2, that is Q2. So, it is the NFA without epsilon transition. We observe that there is no epsilon input within this NFA. So, this NFA we can convert it to a DFA because we already observed the uh, way to convert NFA to the DFA. So, we can convert it to a DFA. Understood now? Yes or no? Yes, sir. We can prepare the diagram of this also, of this NFA. How we are going to prepare the diagram that I will show you now. Just wait a minute. Here is the table. So from this table, we can form the diagram of NFA. I am not talking about DFA. I am talking about the NFA. So Q0 with input 0. So Q0 with input 0, it is on itself. You can observe Q0, it is on Q1, so we will write down here, it is on Q1 and it is also on Q2, here, here it is also on Q2, okay, then next, with input 1, sorry, sorry, I am the wrong inputs, with input 0 I have to write down. Input 0, it is on itself, on Q1 and on Q2. With input 1, it is on Q1. With input 1, it is on Q2. You can observe here. With input 1, it is on Q1 and it is on Q2. With input 2, it is on Q2. With input 2, it is on Q2. Next, Q1 with input 0, that is fine. Q1 with input 1, it is on itself and it is on Q2. Then Q1 with input 2 it is on Q2. And Q2 with input 2 that is on itself that is 2. This is the NFA with epsilon mode. Now I can simplify this diagram in such a way that all these transitions we can write down in one. That is Q0. Then it is going on to the Q1 with input 0 and with input 1. Okay. Similarly, this Q0 is going on to the Q2. Q0 is going on to the Q2 with input 0 also, with input 1 also, with input 2 also. Okay. Then, similarly, this Q1 is going on to the Q2 with input 1 and with input 2. And for input 1, it is on itself also. And this Q2 is on itself with input 2. Understood? It is a simplified diagram just. So it is the way of converting NFA with epsilon mu to the without epsilon mu. Any doubt within this, students? If you have any no doubt, doubt, please tell me. No doubt. Understood everyone? Yes, sir. So let's solve the next example now. So now just tell me the epsilon closure of each and every state. Plus, first you note down by yourself that uh, what are the epsilon closure of each and every state. If you want to revise that. Okay. 
Epsilon closer of Q0. Just tell me fast which are the epsilon closer of Q0. That state itself you have to write down first within that set. Without any doubt, you have to write down that state itself first. Now epsilon closer of Q0. Which are the epsilon closers of Q0? Please answer fast. You can write down with the chat box, no problem. I will look into a chat box. Students, please reply fast. Students, please reply fast. What, what is the epsilon closer of Q0? Just tell me quickly. Q0, Q1, Q2. Q0, Q1, and Q2. Correct. Next, for epsilon closer of Q1? Q1. Only Q1? Is it? Yes, sir. Only Q1 and Q2. Other students, also please reply. Only one student is replying. For other students, also please reply. You can write down your reply in the chat box, no problem. So, for Q1, there is no outgoing transition with the epsilon, there is only one outgoing transition with input 0. So, only Q1, that state itself, we are going to consider as epsilon closer. Similarly, for the Q2, there is no outgoing transition from the Q2 with the epsilon transition. So, only Q2 we are going to consider. Here, if we consider from the Q0, there are two outgoing transitions with the epsilon input symbol. We cannot say input symbol. Uh, with the epsilon as an transition from one state Q0 to the Q1 and from Q0 to the Q2. So, here we consider that epsilon closures. That is Q0, Q1, Q2. Now for Q3, there is no epsilon transition from Q3, so that state itself will be here. Similarly for Q4, there is no epsilon transition, so we will write down only Q4. So these are the epsilon closures for all the states. Okay. So which are the new transitions? There is del dash. Is there any one who can tell me the 
del dash of q0 we can put 0 then del dash of q0 we can put 1 any one of you can tell me Yes, please reply fast. Del dash of Q0 with input 0. It means what water is the epsilon transition of this Q0. We have to find out the transition of that all with input 0. So Q0 is having any transition with input 0? No. Q1 is having the epsilon transition with the input 0? Yes. That is towards Q3. So here we write down only Q3 because Q3 is not having any transition with the input 1. Next here Q0 with input 1. There is a transition from Q2 only that is towards Q3. So we will write down Q3 again over here. Next Q1 with input 0. So Q1 having only one epsilon closer that is a Q1 that itself. So Q1 with input 0 it is going towards Q3. Then Q1 with input 1, there is no transition, so fine. So Q2 with input 0, there is no transition. Q2 with input 1, there is a transition towards Q3. In this way, we are going to obtain the new transitions. So that new transitions will be written in the form of table in such a way. That is Q0, Q1 and Q2. Then next we will write down Q3 and here it is Q4. So we are going to write down that transition in this way. With input 0, with input 1. So Q0 with input 0, that is Q3. Then Q0 with input 1, that is again Q3. Q1 with input 0, that is Q3. Okay. Q1 with input 1, that is pi. Then Q2 with input 0, that is pi. Q2 with input 1, that is Q3. Then Q3 with input 0, that is pi. With input 1, that is towards Q4. And Q4 does not have any kind of function. Okay. Understood now how to convert NFA with epsilon move to the without epsilon move. Clear to everyone? Yes or no? Please reply fast. Yes, sir. So there is always one question from this two type that is nfa with epsilon move to the nfa without epsilon move or nfa with epsilon move to the dfa understood so are you able to solve these kind of examples now so can anyone describe me what is epsilon closer in your words you can tell me that what is epsilon closer So anyone please reply me fast now that what is epsilon closer? What do you mean by epsilon closer? Please reply fast students. Time is over now. So please reply fast. Run, apply fast. What is epsilon closer?
I am audible to all of you. So no doubt, students. No sir. So please tell me the definition of epsilon closure so I can close the session. What is epsilon closure? In your words, you can tell me, any one of you. So tell me that definition or concept. What is epsilon closure? So we can conclude the today's session. Please reply fast. So please read out the definition of epsilon closure. You can observe it within the slide. An epsilon closure is what? 
that epsilon closure for a given state is a set of states which can be reached from that state with only epsilon move including that state itself yes so please remember this definition of this concept so you can answer it any time that is epsilon transition is a transition or with the from that particular state you can if you are moving with the epsilon move then it is known as the epsilon transition and it is epsilon closure means what a set of states set of states means what a particular number of state which can be reached from a particular state with the epsilon move okay including that state itself so we will close the session here now if you have any doubt then you can ask me